On this James the Bike Guy, we're getting the chance to check out something absolutely incredible. We're checking out the brand new S-Works Epic Race. This is their 100 millimeter travel, no holds bar XC race bike. And we've got a chance to check out the features and designs of this bike, as well as find out what it weighs. So before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. And don't forget to leave some comments down in the comment section below with what you think about these bikes. So let's get into them. So taking a look at these two specialized S-Works Epics, we can first start with checking out the frames. And let me just tell you, these bikes are absolutely gorgeous. So this is a brand new frame for this series. And basically what they've done here is they've been able to break the S-Works Epic lineup or the whole Epic lineup into two different full suspension frames. Now, both of these are the race version, which means they're 100 millimeters of travel, both front and rear, but there's also an Evo version, which lengthens the travel and gets the bike a slightly more slack geometry. Now on the S-Works Epic Race, the frame is made out of specialized own fact carbon. This is a 12R carbon, which is a new layup for them and they claim that it's a whole 100 grams lighter than the outgoing version, which is really quite impressive with just how light the outgoing version of the S-Works Epic is. It's gonna be set up with 100 millimeters of rear travel going through this RockShock Specialized Brain Shock with an RX XC tune. What the brain is, is it's a platform that allows the bike to differentiate between bumps coming from down below and bobbing from pedaling above to make sure that the bike has the most efficient pedaling by being able to lock out when it's able to and then unlock the suspension the moment you feel a bump. Now, the new brain system is integrated right down where the rear axle is. This is an inertia valve and it's set up with a five position adjustment. So that means you're gonna be able to ride the bike a little more lively or lock the bike down depending on the conditions that you're in. Now on the front, this is running the new RockShock SID SL Ultimate Brain. This is a really incredible fork. And in fact, I'll link down in the description below an in-depth video on that fork because I got a chance to check one out. And it's a really amazing fork because it's using in their new position sensitive brain. And what that brain does is it actually allows 15 millimeters of travel in the front before you hit the lockout platform, allowing you to be able to preload as you start to ride through things, but you still get the full efficiency of being able to have a lockout. And just like on the rear shock, the brain systems allow everything to happen automatically. Another neat thing to check out on these bikes is gonna be the new Roval Control SL wheels. These are 29 millimeter internal super light XC style wheels. They boast some pretty neat things such as this new revised lip setup. You can see that there's a flat portion out towards the end which allows the wheels to have a claimed 22% less chance of pinch flats. But they're gonna use DT Swiss 180 internals. Uh, they are torque cap up front and this should make for an incredibly lightweight wheel set. Now it's running both 24 spokes front and rear going to those DT Swiss hubs, which of course are gonna run ceramic bearings. Up front, your boost 110, and then out back, it's also boost with 148 millimeter spacing. The shifting on the bike is equally incredible to everything else. This is set up with SRAM's AXS Eagle XX1 rear derailleur. That means this is a wireless one by 12 shifting setup on the bike. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's super light. You're gonna have a 10 to 50 tooth rear cassette. And then it's gonna run through that chain to the front here where you'll see that this is set up both with a carbon XX1 crank set, but it's also set up with a cork power meter. And then it's tied into the frame using a threaded dub bottom bracket. So 73 millimeter threaded bottom bracket on the frame. And then of course a dub spindle. Looking through the rest of the bike, you can see beautiful integration with the water bottle cage. You'll notice small details like on this 30.9 seat post. 
It's set up with a binder clamp that has a titanium bolt. Of course, an S-Works seat post on the bike with an S-Works power saddle. From that saddle, you go into the cockpit, which is set up with an S-Works SL aluminum stem. And then you've got an S-Works carbon handlebar. This handlebar is their XC Mini Rise handlebar. It's gonna be 760 millimeters of width and have a nice six degree up sweep and an eight degree back sweep. So now that we've taken a look at the features and designs of these two bikes, let's go ahead and find out what the S-Works Epic Race comes in and weighs. The actual weight on the specialized S-Works Epic Race comes in at 21.45 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the specialized S-Works Epic Race. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about these absolutely incredible race bikes. And while you're at it, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future.